Well, hey everybody. Okay, today I'm going to show you how to make a dress. This is primarily a child's a dress for a child, an infant, or a doll, depending upon which pattern size you purchase. And the patterns are available for sale on my Etsy store. In a previous video, excuse me, in another video, I'll show you how to cut out your pattern. But we've already cut out the pattern, and we're going to go ahead and pin it to our fabric. I'm going to cut through two layers of fabric because I want to line the inside of the top part. This is the bodice, the top part of the fabric. So I'm going to cut out two layers and then I'll show you how to stitch them together. But now with this pattern, and this is a child's bodice for the simple dress, and you don't need to cut it on the fold or anything. So I'm just going to go ahead and pin this down. Pin this down to my fabric. Get that there. Kind of line it up straight as you can. And you will see this is a very, very easy dress pattern to make. Um, now, realistically, you know, the question has come up. You know, why spend all this time and effort and energy um, making a very simple, basic dress? Look, we'll say for a child that you could buy a lot cheaper in the store. I promise you, I have gone shopping and these children's clothes are so, so, so very cheap in the stores. It's not even funny. Um... I shouldn't say cheap. I'll say inexpensive. Because some of the fabrics are very good and very nice. Oh, and just to point out, this particular, um, oops, why is that not going? This particular uh, doll's dress, uh, child's dress pattern, it's going to have buttons in the back. So if you, as you can see, this is a little bit longer. So this piece will overlap to allow you to put um, buttons. Or in this case, case we're probably going to put snaps on the back of the dress. Or you could do a hook and eye, you could, or a ribbon, you could do it any way you want. Now, this dress pattern is very versatile, and I shouldn't just say dress, limit it to dress, because you could use it as, uh, you could create just a simple top out of it. But anyway, I've got it pinned down, so I'm going to go ahead and cut. I like to go ahead and trim, trim it down a little bit if I'm cutting off of a large piece. And I try to kind of get as close as I can to these edges so that if I use some more of the, this fabric later, I'll have some bigger pieces to choose from. Okay, so I'm just going to cut it out there. And you can cut in any order that you prefer. This just happens to be the way that I'm cutting it out. Now, if you're cutting it out on the grain or you've got uh, using chevron fabric or something that needs to match up, just uh, be careful, be mindful. But this is just a basic pink broadcloth, a plain fabric, just to show you how it's done. And just going to keep cutting these out. And I honestly say take your time cutting. You're not in a hurry, are you? If you were, you really wouldn't be making a child's dress. Now, if you do commit yourself to making these dresses for... Uh, let's say for, uh, um, what do you call that? For a little bridesmaid uh, dress. You know, don't wait till the last minute because inevitably whatever can go wrong will in terms of your sewing machine or who knows what could happen. So you don't want to um, wait till the last minute and try to rush doing something like this. And I like to trim as close as I can. Now, if you're using one of my patterns, remember, you're cutting this at the solid black edge. Don't freak out so much if this isn't, like, perfectly straight, because by the time you hem it, it will be. Okay, so we're just going to keep cutting here. And I hate corners, but this is for the armhole, so you got to take your time. you got to be careful and just cut that. Move that out of the way before I cut right through it. And this particular pattern, at least for me, 
takes maybe an hour or so to make. Let's say a couple hours on the safe side. Because from the, by the time you print the pattern, um, cut it out, sew it together, um, answer the phone, answer the doorbell, it uh, might take you a couple of hours. Okay, so then we're going to cut out the front piece. We cut out the back piece there. And just going to cut real close as we can. Once again, taking our time. Remember, turning these corners can be something else. Um, I tend to cut, I guess, a little randomly. Um, I will honestly admit, I am not the world's best sewer seamstress by any stretch of the imagination. But... I've got a pretty good idea of how to do some things and make it easy to show other people how to do it as well. So if there's any sewing masters out there, they, I'm sure you'll see me doing something wrong and you'll more than likely comment. I welcome your comments. Um, and it only helps to make everybody helps to let everybody get better, become a better uh, sewer, seamstress. So I'm just going to cut right here on this edge part. Okay. So we've got our front and back bodice pieces cut out. Now, what I'm going to do is we are going to attach these. Actually, it goes this way once we take the pattern piece off. So, actually, let's go ahead and do that. We'll take our... The pattern itself needs to come off. And remember now, you cut two of these. So, you're only going to need one for right now. Then I'll show you how to add it as a lining. So, we'll set that one aside. And we'll take this one off. And for some reason with pattern pieces, when you're cutting them out of paper, it doesn't seem to um, do like with the tissue paper patterns where you've got a whole lot of, uh, you gotta, you have to use a whole lot of pens. Don't know why. At least that's how it seems to me. So, okay, got all the pens out. We set our pattern aside. We've got the back bodice piece and we've got the front bodice piece. Oops, forgot to cut right there because it was on the fold. Okay. So now we have, we know these are our armholes. And you gotta get these pieces to match up. And what I'm gonna do, you want your armholes to line up. Gonna line that up carefully. I'm just gonna put a couple of pins because I can kind of eyeball it myself and sew it fairly close together. And I'm just gonna slide this back one in and line up these edges because I know which piece that I want to overlap when I put the uh, the buttons on. I'm just gonna line that up ever so carefully. Okay, and now we're going to take this over to the sewing machine, and the only thing we're going to stitch first, stitch right now, is the top shoulder seam. We're just going to stitch right across here, one stitch there and one stitch there. Okay, so you want to go ahead and stitch the top shoulder's edge of your bodice together. So, I'm not going to use any pens or anything right now because it's a really short distance to go. Um, I can probably hold this together pretty straight. And just going to get that together. And I'm using my quarter inch quilting foot to help me keep in a nice straight line. So, I'm just going to make one little stitch right across there. Move that. And you do the other side. And you're good to go.